Hair trends. As quickly as they appear, they disappear. Except for this one. Men's powdered wigs. A trend that strangely lasted a century and had close ties not to fashion, but to an STD. Powdered wigs, also known as perukes, were all the rage in the 1700s. They were the hot item for aristocratic men, but it wasn't a stylistic choice. Rather, men mostly wore the wigs because of syphilis. Starting in 1580, syphilis outbreaks spread to become one of the worst epidemics to ever hit Europe, on par with the Black Death. There were no antibiotics to combat the disease, and so victims faced blindness, dementia, hair loss, and even open sores. Ugh. At that time, going bald was considered quite embarrassing. As syphilis spread, the wig makers got busy. They created beautiful perukes coated with powder and even scented with lavender to hide any unpleasant smells. At this point, the wigs were not yet considered stylish, but all that changed in 1655 when Louis XIV started going bald. Clearly, the king of France couldn't be seen without hair, so he did what any man of that day would. He bought a wig. Well, actually, he hired 48 of the best wig makers to create him a custom wig. Five years later, the king of England did the same thing. Shortly thereafter, aristocrats followed suit, and thus the term bigwig was born. <laughs>